Another important reaction of carboxylic acids is their conversion into, into acids, thus esterification reactions. One way to do this is to use an old method, which is very, very important in organic synthesis, and that's Fischer esterification reaction. So this is the general structure for carboxylic acids, and the Fischer esterification reaction employs an alcohol as the source of, of OR, because we want an ester. So this is the general structure for an ester, OR prime. So OR prime come from uh, the alcohol. Now, we need an acid catalyst, okay? The reaction employs also an acid. So H3O plus in general, or HA. Now, the acid is very important because it protonates the, uh, the carboxylic acid and initiates the reaction, therefore. This is an important reaction, as we mentioned before, and it's called Fischer esterification reaction. So it, it is actually a name reaction. So the Fischer esterification reaction, therefore, employs an alcohol and an acid to convert a carboxylic acid into, into the corresponding uh, ester. Now, another way to esterify carboxylic acids is to initially convert them into uh, carboxylates, their carboxylate ions, and subsequently react the carboxylate ion with an alkyl halide in an SN2 type reaction, if you like, to give the corresponding uh, ester. So this is general structure for carboxylic acids, and this second method employs or uses uh, or consists of two steps actually. The first step is reaction with a mild base to deprotonate carboxylic acids. As we have seen before, carboxylic acids are acidic enough to be deprotonated even by a mild base such as the hydroxide ion or bicarbonate, for instance. So sodium hydroxide is good enough as a base to convert carboxylic acids into the corresponding um, uh, carboxylates. And the carboxylate ion then being nucleophilic, we'll draw the structure of the carboxylate ion again. Being nucleophilic, it can react with an alkyl halide or a substrate, basically, with a leaving group. It doesn't have, obviously, to be, to be a halide. It could be a sulfonate, such as a tosylate, a triflate, a mesylate. Any good leaving group can work as a substrate in, or a good substrate, actually, in substitution uh, reactions. So this is the general structure of the corresponding ester. So when sodium hydroxide reacts with, the carb with carboxylic acids, to give, it gives actually the, ca the corresponding carboxylate ion. So this is the general structure of the, of the carboxylate ion. If you look at the car carboxylate ion, it's obvious, it's clear actually that it can behave as a nucleophile. And this nucleophile then attacks this substrate, could be an alkyl halide again, or a substrate with another good leaving group such as uh, a sulfonate in an SN2 type reaction. So we can actually show the reaction like this. So the nucleophilic oxygen attacks this electrophilic uh, carbon with departure of the, of the leaving group. So it's SN2 type reaction. So this is uh, another uh, method for the esterific for esterification of, of carboxylic acid. This consists of two cells, very efficient as well. So there are two types, if you like, so far that we have learned for the conversion of, of carboxylic acids into, into ester. The, fir, into esters, the first step is actually Fischer esterification reactions, a very important, very old, very strong uh, method for the esterification of carboxylic acids, which employs an alcohol and an acid. The second method uh, involves uh, transforming the carboxylic acid into the corresponding carboxylate by reacting the carboxylic acid with a mild base and subsequent reaction of the carboxylate ion with, with an electrophile such as an alkyl halide, for example, to get the corresponding, the corresponding ester. 